Hello, welcome back to another What Sold video. I've been out of town for the past couple weeks, so I am back at it doing a What Sold video. I have just under $200 worth of sales, not very many because I was on vacation mode. But um, today I'm going to excuse the background. Everybody's doing their own thing today since we're back, so you might hear the lawnmower, you might hear people talking, whatnot. So my name is Michelle and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, which if you've stayed tuned here before, you already know that. You can find me at MCWare for you. Um, and I will link my closet and my eBay store down in the descriptions along with any stickers or anything that I use that I happen to mention for you to check out. So without further ado, I'm going to just jump right into it. It's a mixture of Poshmark and eBay. So the first thing I sold were these Betsy, Johnson yeah Betsy Johnson I have them cover with saran wrap to protect all the sequin um, and beads for, so they don't get ruined and chip these are size 11 and um, I sold them for $30 and I profited $24 so what I'm going to do is grab a few stickers these are just Care Bear stickers that I get um, on Aliexpress and I'm going to wrap them up in some pretty tissue paper and then I'm going to put them in a shoe box. And these sold on Poshmark. So we're going to just wrap them up. How are everybody's sales? I asked that. Maybe I don't have resellers that watch yet. But how are everybody's sales doing? If you are a reseller. You don't want to make any mistakes here. So I just use these, um, these priority mailboxes that are free from... United States Post Office. You can order them. If you go in through the post office, they will not give them to you anymore. So you do need to order them from the post office website. But um, they are free and they take about two weeks to get if you're interested in doing that because lots of times you sell things and you wonder, where's my box? What box am I going to use? Okay, so that's the first item. Let's just put it over here. Second item is also on Poshmark, and these are just two pairs of earrings. I'm going to show you some vintage little marbled um, 80s earrings. Little pink um, earrings. These are 80s earrings, early 90s. I got some stickers in there for them, and I just put them in these little blue bags. And these sold for my jewelry on Poshmark are buy one, get one free. And... Um, Let's see, they sold for $15, so $7.50 a pair, profited $12. And again, these little boxes, I think these boxes from um, the post office were originally for uh, VHS tapes, remember those? And since, I don't know, I used to sell VHS tapes, now no one cares about it, unless they are like the Disney masterpiece ones from a long time ago. Okay, so there we go, jewelry doesn't shake or anything and this is off to Florida and let's see California the Betsy Johnson shoes and you want to kind of just um this does have like a stick but sometimes with um humidity and weather it comes unsticked because I've had people mention that to me before so not just to be on the safe side I take a little piece of scotch tape and just kind of adhere it here just to give it a little extra so there we go Next is a J. Crew top, new with tags, going to New York City, and it is a gray size XL Point Sur J. Crew little tank, not tank, um, flutter sleeve blouse in a nice pretty gray color. And I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to add some Care Bear stickers once again. I don't know if I'm going to continue with the stickers. I mean. People used to really like the stickers and like, and I would know they liked them because they would comment like, oh, thanks for the stickers from a water bottle or whatever. But now, um, there's a lot more people who are minimalists. And so I have gotten people say, you know, what's with the plastic? What's with the extra stickers? I didn't order them. Sometimes people don't even like a thank you note. So I don't even do thank you notes again. And I don't, I used to always do thank you notes and I like filling them out and doing them, but you just kind of have to profile the person, if I dare say. Look at their picture. Sometimes you could tell by looking at them if they are more earthy, crunchy, if they're minimalist or a maximalist. So just use your judgment on that. So a little neck, New York. 
And did I say that that sold for 35? I think I sold, I think it sold for 35. Sorry about that. Multitasking. Okay. So the next is this loft sweater. I am still selling sweaters. This was given to me, so it's all profit. I sold it for $22.50 and I profited $18. It's a loft XL and it has just a whole bunch of little pearls and it's kind of a space dye pattern, beige and gray. And um, I like it myself. I just don't need another sweater, but um, so that was XL. And again, that sold for 22. They're getting stickers. And let's see, that is going ground. So that means that sold on eBay. I try to ship ground shipping to save the buyers some money by not shipping priority. And it saves them, I'm gonna say anywhere between two and $10, depending on the weight of the item. So on eBay, I sell ground shipping. It's like maybe 13 ounces, 14 ounces going to New York. All right, so this sale also was going to Illinois. These I brought and I kept them because I absolutely loved them, but they ran really, really big. And these are Brian Walker. They retail for several hundreds of dollars. Brian Walker's an excellent brand made of bamboo and cotton. These are size large. And they're those really popular lantern pants that are so popular. And I think um, the newer name for them is Barrel Leg because they make jeans like this where it's super wide and then at the bottom a little tiny bit cropped. And these are a large and look, like I'm a size large, extra large. And these feel like a two or three X even. So um, I do have uh, measurements in the description so i think people that do um enjoy this brand like this brand i said enjoy and someone asked me how do you enjoy some pants i think people just say enjoy a pair of pants as in like now you know how words are always changing so some stickers and these sold for 67 it was an offer that i took of 67 um, like I said, they retail for a few hundred dollars. I took an offer of 67. Um, like I said, I wanted to keep them. I tried wearing them a few times, but they just run too big. So I profited 55, which was still very, very good. And again, Brian Walker, make a mental note. Uh, the, the linen does really, really good, but these pants are very very popular right now and they come in all different colors so if you do see these these pants i would go ahead and get them to resell and like i said they are going to illinois and then i only have one more item guys i was on vacation mode up until just a couple days ago so that is why all right so next i have a ll bean shacket corduroy whale corduroy i took a 35 dollar offer made 28 dollar profit Again, I liked it for myself, but I just don't need it. Just don't need it. L.L. Bean, 1X, whale purple corduroy shacket. And um, like I said, we just got back from a vacation. We went to Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas. I did some mad sourcing, so those videos will be coming up. Um, in the next couple weeks, because I sourced... I sourced a whole lot. The one thing I will say about Texas thrift stores is they are twice to triple the amount of here in North Carolina. So I know there are many resellers in Texas, Houston area, San, Anto in San Antonio. We went, we went Houston, drove to San Antonio and everywhere in between. There was a really cool thrift store. Um, there was a really cool thrift store in Sealy, Texas that I would have loved to have spent more time. Ew. I try to recycle boxes to do my part, but look at that. There's some stain there, and I'm not going to use that. Okay, let's try to do this box, maybe. Okay, getting back to Texas thrift stores. Goodwill specifically, but also Texas Thrift, which was just mad. It was so cool. Texas Thrift was out of this world. I spent, I think, two hours there, but I did walk out with only two items because of the cost and prices. Um, if the prices were comparable to North Carolina, I probably would have walked out with 100 items. They had walls upon walls of shoes and bags and jewelry and everything in between. 
but um the average price at texas thrift i did hear on the overhead that mondays is 50 percent off but that wasn't the day that we were there um oops so anyways i walked out with a a, a designer dress and and i think i spent 15 for the dress but i should be able to get 100 for it and then i walked out um it was two dresses i think it was a baltic born dress which i'll get maybe 50 and i think i spent 10. so um like tor everything torrid whether it was new with tags or not and that's just bread and butter for resellers you get 20 25 dollars per item maybe 30 for a dress if it's new with tags 35 but um just the t-shirts were 9.99 and the dresses, some of them were like 25 And so that's not good enough to buy to resell. So I wasn't a fan of the prices at Texas Thrift. Of course, if you're getting something for yourself, then by all means, it's cheaper than going to the mall. And um, I did go to the mall too. I have plenty of videos. I went to Zara for the first time. And I have plenty of um, perfume videos coming up as well. So I guess that's about it. I don't be too chit chatty. We're at 11 minutes already. So I appreciate you watching so much and comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Show some love. If you have a um, channel, definitely comment. And um, I don't think that's spamming because I will check out your channel as well. So thank you for watching and I hope everyone has a nice day. Bye bye.